What up guys, welcome back to another Oktoberfest beer review for 2021. This is number three for Oktoberfest in the series. And it's another, it comes from a staple craft brewery in the Midwest, but you can probably get this beer in a lot of locations, but it's the Great Lakes Brewing Company's Oktoberfest beer. It's got the nice blue, um, you know, tablecloth and they got all the specs laid out for you nice and neat. I like it when they do that, so you don't have to go searching for it. It is 6.5% ABV. This is by far the highest ABV Oktoberfest beer we've had so far. Um, the Sam Adams and the Shiner beer are both uh, mid to low fives. So this is a whole 1% higher. And it's 20 IBUs. And it, it is a, the uh, Meritson style lager. And uh, I guess that's everything you need to know. So let's crack this open. Jeez. The freaking bottle broke. How did that happen? Not a good sign. Hopefully I don't swallow glass shards. Jeez, I have never, I don't think I've ever had the lip of the bottle break off. It's a strong beer. That extra, you know, 6.5%. You know, ripping bottles off. Jeez. Okay, it is it is from this year. I was like, well, maybe it's like a really old one. No, no, no. Just weird. I don't know. So, all right, whatever. Oh, that's got the probably the best head of any of the three Exorcist beers I've poured so far. But it's also, I think, a little lighter than the other two. Anyways, let's get in the review. Get into the smell. Ooh. There's a, a lighter aspect to it. Almost a fruitiness. I'm, I gotta be crazy. I'm picking up like a dash of blueberries in this. Not even kidding. Maybe I'm going, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm losing my mind. Maybe I just saw blue and I'm thinking blueberries, but. But I am not picking up a lot of aroma, really, at all. And if I remember from the last time I did this kind of extended Oktoberfest series a couple years ago, some of these beers, it's almost impossible to smell. There's just, there's some of them that you just don't pick up anything. And that very much is this, I'm getting little to no aroma. You know, you, I can kind of tell that it's a lager. That's about all I got. I'm, I'm picking up nothing from this from this aroma. So I'm just gonna give it a half. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't really smell like anything. I can't smell anything. So, and I feel like my aroma, you know, thumbs up is probably the most consistent thumbs up of any category. But I gotta give it a half because I just I can't smell anything. Anyways. In the taste. I can actually taste something. And it's not glass. There's a rich, creamy malt aspect to this beer. You can probably get that, for, I mean, the head was, that lasts a little longer. There's a, a bit of a kind of a smoky maltiness to it. Subtle char, not a lot. Most of it is just, just the very tip of my tongue. And then there's like this, this creaminess to it that the rest of my mouth feels. 
like they had almost like if you turn a beer into like a, a, a root beer float and you know like that that creamy head that you get that you know when the vanilla and the root beer mix you get like that like a kind of like creamy liquid on the top they almost had that kind of consistency to it I think it tastes fine. Um, it's 6.5%. It's a whole 1% higher than the other two beers. I mean, I think it's even... Sam Adams might be like 5.3. And... So if you're just going for alcohol content, this is definitely higher than that. It kind of just feels like a... It, it doesn't... I don't know. There's like an Oktoberfest thing and that I'm missing. It's just like... There's something that's like... It's not there. And I'm not sure. I mean, it's definitely a malt forward lager. But I don't know. There's like I feel like I can't put my finger on it, but there's something missing in this beer. And again, it's not a bad tasting beer. Uh, uh, Yeah, there is a kind of sweetness. There's probably a, a dab of like, not even molasses because this this tastes thinner. Like the mouthfeel after you know get to like that that um, creaminess aspect to it, it like um, at at the top of it, the mouthfeel is very is thinner than the other beers. I just I don't know. I'm even a half on taste. I, just, I feel like it's missing something, and I, I I'm sorry I can't put my finger on it. It just there's something in it that it's like it needs like this sprinkled in to make it Oktoberfest and not just a, a, a malty lager. Um, but I don't know. Like like it, it's fine. It tastes fine, but it's not fully doing it for. You know, sometimes you have a beer, you drink a beer, and you're like, you know, it's, it's okay. It's just something it just isn't my thing for some reason. I don't know. That's kind of this. Um, but next category is about price, and I did this for about two bucks. So, solid price. If you want to give it a whirl, two bucks, not bad. Oh, yeah. This is the 2021 version. I don't know if they um, switch it up at all at Great Lakes, but that's what it looks like. Um, hopefully the bottle doesn't break on you. <laughs> and bottle, these are hard to break. Like, they're not the easiest. You know, when you see bar fights and they're smashing stuff over the head, realistically, it'd probably more likely go dunk and then bounce off. I mean, these, a lot of these beers, these, at least back in the day, they were, they were made solid. Maybe it's thinner glass nowadays. But, uh, yeah, value price is fine. Um, distinction, how distinct is it? And it's just... There's something missing. There's nothing really setting it apart from other Oktoberfest beers. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I like the other two better than this. Um, it, it's got a high alcohol content. I don't think that has anything to do with the reasoning. It's just I, I like the other two better. And the other two are kind of like playing it safe. But, so distinction, I'm not going to recommend it on distinction. Drinkability and... I mean, it's fine. It drinks fine. Um, yeah, and for 6.5%, I think it's fair, so I'll, I'll recommend that drinkability. But last category is what I buy it again, and not, no. I mean, you know, I've had two Oktoberfest beers so far, and I've liked the other two better than this. And I, I don't even know if those other ones are going to finish in, like, my top five by the, one, by the time it's all said and done. I just... There's something going on with this that's just not doing it for me. I mean, I knew something was off when the bottle broke when I opened it. You know, right out of the gate. It was like, we're in trouble. So, I don't know. You know, we're going to do. Can't win them all. 
But uh, so I'm not gonna buy it. I won't be buying this again. But um, anyways, that is my review for Great Lakes Brewing Company's Oktoberfest. Dogs losing their mind. So peace out. Catch you guys later.